Greetings and welcome to another episode of Trippy Food. Today's a little bit unusual. So uh, basically, uh, Tom, old guy in Colorado, who's joining us. Say hello, Tom. Hello, everybody. Uh, Tom had sent me, uh, I guess it was a meme, right? Yeah, it was a, uh, it was a Facebook meme. meme. It was basically, somebody had taken a pickle, hollowed it out, and put a Snickers bar in it. I think it was Photoshop. I don't think they actually did it, right? It was probably just a, a, a meme. So Tom sent it to me, and I just looked at it and he said, why not? Let's give it a shot. So, uh, so today, Tom and I kind of we we kind of discussed how we wanted to do this, but we're going to give that a shot today. So today, we're going to make uh, what do you want to call it? Like pickled stuffed sn Snickers or uh, uh, deep fried pickle Snickers? How about that? All right. Well, uh, so one of the things we decided we were just going to do it, we're just going to do it like that, and then I said, no, we get we have to. So we wanted to fry it. Right, it'll soften up the Snickers bar, but we we figure we just can't just can't stick the pickle in the oil, so we needed to have some sort of coating. And I think you and I discussed that and came up with um, tempura batter. Right? Tempura batter. Yep. So yes. uh, I made the uh, tempura batter the extra thick method, so it's kind of it looks like pancake batter, and I just put mine in a glass so that once I skewer it, I can kind of you know. Gotcha. And I I put mine kind of in a flat tray to fit the pickle into and hopefully yeah. I'll be able to coat the whole thing that way we'll see <laughs> so the, so the question is how we want to do this now I couldn't find you you your pickle is bigger than my pickle um, I, <laughs> don't be jealous Val um, <laughs> I'm good um, and so this these are the largest size pickles I could find now that's not even as long as the as the candy bar so I'm gonna have to I think I'm gonna have to cut the candy in half and do it, but it's probably okay because if we have some issues or problems or something, at least uh, you know, uh, this is this is really a science experiment, right? Not really, no. <laughs> no, but I mean, I'm saying like like nobody's done this, so so we're 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 on uncharted ground here. That's right. There's no fail on this. So so what I thought we could do, and and then unless you want to take a different approach, or you might want to take a different approach, it doesn't really matter, is um, is just like cut the end off. And then um, use the knife to soften that up. Use the spoon to kind of scoop out the innards, and then just put the candy bar in. And again, I'm going to cut this in half, and, and um, because I, I have a smaller pickle, I'm, I'm okay with that. And um, and then um, we're going to uh, skewer it, put the skewer through it, uh, batter it, uh, and then break the skewer off. And we're going to put the skewer in the basket. And I think we're both doing the exact same thing, right? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Pretty much. So my, so my my pickle stuffing method will be slightly different, but almost because yeah. you're using a melon ball, right? Yeah, I'm going to use a melon ball, and I'm just going to cut the pickle in half. Oh, in half? Are you going to do it lengthwise or or? No, I'm just going to cut it in half vertically. I was going to say if you cut it in half horizontally, then you're going to have an impossible time getting it back together. Yeah, no, I won't. And the last thing we want is is like pickle juice inside here to be leaking out into the oil. That that won't be fun. Yeah, so. All right, well, let's get started. Get this pickle cut. Now, this is, uh, I guess, the pickles I got were uh, whole koshers from Sonoma Brinery. These were, I believe, Van Holten pickles, and I got these, out, I think, at a family dollar. My favorite place. <laughs> and they were unusual. They were um, individual, right? Yeah, individual packets. They had uh, dill. They had kosher. They they had a hot one. I just figured uh, kosher, which is what I've got here. So my advice is while you have it um, while you have it cut and open, is uh, to turn it upside down and squeeze some of the pickle juice out of it. Oh yeah, I've been. Uh, draining it out <laughs> as we go here and I've got some paper towels I'm gonna kind of dry them off as best I can yeah I already dried the outside of these I've dried me pickle <laughs> I'm doing this with a knife and I'm trying not to break the skin of the pickle. Yeah, I came close with this melon baller. Really close, but I think I managed to make it without breaking it. 
Now, is yours a is yours a dill, a sour? What kind of pickle did you use? It's a kosher dill. Okay. I think these are as well. I like the ones that are brined in salt better than the ones brined in vinegar. And I think the kosher dills are brined in salt. I yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, so just by the judging, I'm gonna have to. I don't know if you can see that, but my the candy bar is a little bit long for the pickle, so I'll have to cut part of it off for it to fit. Okay. I think well, I've got a pickle inside a candy bar. So let's uh now it's time for our insertion. Yeah, because there's no way this whole thing's gonna fit in there. Alright, let's see what we're dealing with. I'm gonna cut it in half. And like I said, I can always use the other half if we mess up. Yep. Well I've got I should have got two candy bars. I got one. Uh-oh. You'll be all right. There we go. So I'm gonna put the cut end in. Wow. That just barely fits. I have to squish the candy bar a little bit. I'm trying to get the candy bar to go even on my skewer here. And then into the pickle. There we go. So that uh, that packed in just to the end there. All right. I'll put our cap back, the cap back on it. I don't know if you can see that or not. I've got half out. Yeah. So what I'm gonna so what I'm gonna do is I've got the um, I'm gonna put the end on and then I'm just gonna put the skewer through both of these. Yep. And you see, I've already got this half skewered on. And I'm just gonna put. Put the cap on, so to speak. Does it screw on? <laughs> that would be handy. Yeah, it would. Maybe the next version. <laughs> Let's see how this tastes before we start deciding whether there's going to be another version. Yeah, I have to agree with that. <laughs> well, it didn't exactly hold as tight as I thought it might. Maybe you could put some duct tape around it. That's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. So there's... Okay. Doodle smells food. Right, I'm just gonna kind of skewer this. Yeah, I did, uh, I did, this, I did the same to, uh, to keep the top on. My, my only worry is that uh, pickle juice is going to come bubbling out there once it gets hot. But Yeah, I'm, I've got juice dripping out of my pickle, too. <laughs> yeah, they have a solve for that. We, we, knew, we knew this was going to happen, didn't we? We knew we were going to have some double entendres here, right? <laughs> Well, it's hard not to when you're working with pickles. This thing looks like a trilobite or something. Look at this. <laughs> okay. I've got it together. Every time I skewer it, though, it juices again. Yeah, my problem is that I skewered it, but now it's sliding on the skewer, so when I dip it, I, I don't want the pickle to stay in there. Yeah, so, I I hear you. All right, you ready to dip? I think so. I'm going to... Uh, Houston, we are... Uh-oh. What's that? I guess I'm going to have to scoop it over, because <laughs> my little yeah. tray... That looks pretty thick. I think that's going to work. And, I, and I'm, I'm going to dip like they do on, at hot dog on a stick. There we go.
Doesn't look like it completely covers it, though. Are you having the same issue? Yeah, a little bit. It, it's kind of opening up on me a little bit, too. Yeah, I'm going to let it... I'm going to kind of do this for a minute and then maybe do a second dip and see if it, I can get it thicker. It's dripping off the pickle. <sighs> Surely you can go into a Japanese restaurant and get tempura pickle. I would, I would think, and you don't have to call me Shirley. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to be really thick, but you know what? It is what it is. Yep, no. I'll be surprised if I even get it into the fryer. <laughs> I'm going to try one more dip. Let's see if that helps. that's going to open up in I have some Twinkies on hand. Maybe I'll do one of those. There you go. Deep fried Twinkie. Yeah, this is just, it's really not sticking to the pickle really well. No, it's not. Light. It's kind of sliding off. I'm having that problem as well. What if we roll it in panko breadcrumbs? That sounds like a good idea. All right. Surgically remove one or two of these. Okay, I'm gonna do another dip and then I'm gonna roll it in the panko. Yep. My pickle has no structural stability. <laughs> Yeah, but at least it looks like your batter is sticking to it a little bit better. It is sticking some, but it does pretty much just drip and slide off. All right. Oh. You know, the, the problem with us, Tom, is we don't know when to say no. Well, I hear you. <laughs> Just because you can't doesn't mean you should. Exactly. <laughs> well, this might actually work better. It looks like a, it looks like with the panko, it's sticking. It's at least sticking better. Yeah, it does stick better. I decided that I, I better go ahead and give this thing a second skewer. Try and hold it together. There's nothing worse than a limp pickle. <laughs> Especially in this neighborhood. <laughs> All right. There's a little more spackle and paste here. <laughs> yeah, there's not a thick coating on here, but you know what? It's okay. Oh, this is going to make a nice mess. <laughs> no, no, put down that pickle! <laughs> All right, I've got a coating on here. I, I think might work. Trick is to <laughs> let it sit for a minute. What's the worst that could happen? Make a huge mess in the fryer. That's about it. I think did that not long ago. Anybody ever need their 
pickle plastered, they know who to call. <laughs> I think most people go to a urologist for that. <laughs> this is a glorious mess. It is. <laughs> it's gonna have to do. I could see, I could just hear Drew Trials now, Tricky Go Jumping on. <laughs> okay. All right, let me know when you're ready. So, how long do you figure on this, Mel? That's an excellent question. I mean, it's not like it's not like meat where it has to cook. Just maybe like just till they're brown. Yeah, till they're golden brown, I would think. Oh, I got two skewers. Can I get it to fit in two holes? All right, there we go. All right. Yep. Ready? Yep. Let's do it. In the fryer goes. Well, so far I'm kind of surprised that I haven't right like, seen a mountain of chocolate come flowing out yet. Yeah, same here. Mine must mine must go hot because mine's like already golden brown. Here, look at that. Wow. Yeah. I'm, I think I'm going to take it out. Yeah, I would. All right, there we go. That's pretty nice, don't you think? Yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm going to take out the toothpicks. Why did I only find one? Oh, there it is. Finding the hidden toothpicks. That's always a fun game. <laughs> All right, there we go. You know, I think I'm going to call that good enough. Now getting getting it out of the basket. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What happened? <laughs> oh, thought I was going to lose the whole pickle back into the... I don't know if you can see that, but that's just, woo, that just slid right out. So there's my <laughs> breaded pickle. Can you see that okay? Yeah. That doesn't look half bad. All right. Well, we have nothing to compare it to, right? So so we're just going to cut it in half in the middle, right? Yep. All right. I guess I'm going to ready to cut. All right, here we go. Ooh, that panko's nice and crunchy. Well, the uh, Snickers bar is totally, thoroughly, completely melted on the inside. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Hot Snickers all over the hand. Or it's hot pickle juice, I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, it's to It's completely, that Snickers bar is completely melted. Look at that. Yeah, same with mine. Totally just liquefied. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess there's only one way to be able to eat it now. Well, I, uh... I just got some of that on my hand and it, it, like I think I got like a second degree burn from that so I think we should let it cool for a second. Well, cheers. Cheers. I'm gonna scoop out a peanut. You know what scares the living daylights out of me? <laughs> What's that? This isn't bad. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> yeah, if you get a little bit of everything, get a peanut in there. Because the thing is, with, with, the, with the coating and with the candy bar on the inside, it really tames that pickle, right? Tones it, it tones the pickle down. It does. Mm. And that little bit of saltiness. You know, caramel and salt works together, peanuts and salt. 
This isn't bad. Who would have known, huh? Tom, I'm going to go ahead and give this a thumbs up. I can't find anything wrong with it. I mean, the thing is, that, you know, the pickle adds a kind of a, a flavor in it that you're not expecting in there. But it's all pickle. But it's not really, it's not really that bad. It's not, uh, you know, it's not vinegary and salty and everything else like that. I mean, you know, there's, there's some saltiness to it, but the, but it's, it's salty and sweet because of the candy bar inside it. Yeah, it's, it's not bad at all. I am shocked because I was thinking this was going to be disgusting. And, and it's not, it's not disgusting at all. So yeah, that's going to get a thumbs up for me. What about you? Yeah, uh, absolutely. I'll, I'll give it a thumbs up as well. Uh, totally unexpected. I thought the same thing you did, that it was going to be just a horrible combination, but it actually works together really well. Who, who, you know, I would have never figured. I so just figured I'm, this is going to be a big joke, and this ooh, is actually pretty, pretty good. Uh, Snickers has nuts in it, right? Yeah, peanuts. It's, that last, it's funny because the last bite I had wasn't crunchy, but I'm, I'm getting the crunchy peanuts in there in the second bite. Yeah, still good. good. The peanut in there really gives it an added flavor. Still good. All right, awesome. Well, Tom, the next time you find some weird uh, meme, let's we'll do it. You know, <laughs> why not? That was really good. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. So this is, I guess, it's relatively easy to reap. Well, I don't want to say it's easy. <laughs> There's a lot of trick. There's a lot of tricks to turn to getting everything to hold together and everything, but you know, with adult supervision, try this. Try this at home and see, and you'd probably be uh, be pleasantly surprised. Yeah, and so, then, and somebody might even come out with come up with a a better way of actually constructing these, and maybe they'll post a video, and we'll learn a little something too. Well, once again, Tom, it's always a pleasure working with you, and thank you for bringing this to my, to my attention. It was a challenge that um, uh, readily accepted, and I'm, and I'm glad we did it. So thank you very much. Uh, also, remember that it's crazy out there, so please be careful. Please take care of yourselves, and we'll see you soon. Bye, everybody. Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below. And be sure to subscribe by clicking on the Trippy Food icon right here. Glad you could make it, and we hope to see you again soon.